In this question, we have a model rocket that is fired straight up with a constant acceleration of 46 meters per second squared until the engine runs out of fuel after seven seconds. Neglecting air resistance, find, and then they ask us to find the height of the rocket when the engine stops. Okay, so here we have a rocket that is fired straight up into the air and as it goes up into the air, it has an engine that's blasting itself up at an acceleration of 46 meters per second squared. But that fuel doesn't last forever. And so at some point the fuel runs out. And even though it's still continuing up in the air because of momentum, it's still on its way up. This um, after the engine has stopped, it there is no more upwards acceleration. Okay, so they want to know the height of the rocket when the engine stops. In other words, if we were to measure this distance that it traveled when the engine stopped, what is that height? In other words, that's delta x that we need to calculate. Well, what else do we know? Um, if we want to calculate delta x, we are going to have to need three other parameters. So far we have acceleration. We also know that since this rocket is launched, it means its initial velocity was equal to zero. Okay. The other thing that we do know is the time during which it is accelerating. They tell us that the engine runs out of fuel after seven seconds. So we also know delta t is equal to seven seconds. And there we have three parameters and a fourth one that we want to calculate. So we want to use a formula that has delta x, delta t, acceleration, and initial velocity. And looking at our formulas, I see this one will work. Delta x, initial velocity, delta t, acceleration, and delta t again. Okay, so that's going to be the formula that we are going to use. So let's write out our equation here at the bottom. So we have that delta x is equal to initial velocity times delta t plus a half times acceleration times delta t squared. Okay, so initial velocity we found was zero. So even though that is seven seconds, let me just confirm. Yes, seven seconds of acceleration. Um, that part will be zero. A half times acceleration we have as 46 meters per second squared and that is 7 squared and this all we need to do is solve this using our calculator so let's do that and that gives me 0 times 7 will obviously be 0 plus 1 divided by 2 times 46 times 7 squared gives me a total of 1000 127 meters that's how high it goes up into the air so delta x let's put it on our sketch is equal to 1127 meters up into the air let's go enter our answers in here okay here's our stock taking stock taking we know that initial velocity is zero future velocity we do not know Change in displacement is what we want to calculate. Time is 7 and acceleration is 46 meters per second squared. We are going to leave out units in this substitution step. Okay, but next up is the substitution step right here. Where all I'm going to do is take this exact formula and substitute in there, ignoring deltas and any subscripts like um, the i for initial velocity. Okay, so I'm just going to type in x is equal to initial velocity is 0 times 7 plus a half is 1 over 2 times 46 times 7 squared. There we go. We preview. And that looks correct, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay, and now we enter our final answer. x is equal to, and we calculated 1, 1, 2, 7 meters don't forget your units in your answer preview there we go perfect